New York City has helped them all. But extending that care has come at a great cost to our city and our people. The asylum seekers arriving here need more than a hot meal or a bed for a night. Without the ability to work legally in this country, they need long-term shelter health care and a great deal of institutional support. It is straining the limits of our ability to provide care for New Yorkers in need, and it is burning through our city's budget. We expect to spend at least $1 billion by the end of the fiscal year on this crisis, all because we have a functional and compassionate system. Our right to shelter laws, our social services, and our values are being exploited by others for political gain. New Yorkers are angry. I am angry too. We have not asked for this. There was never any agreement to take on the job of supporting thousands of asylum seekers. This responsibility was simply handed to us without warning as buses began showing up. There's no playbook for this, no precedent. But despite all this, our city's response has been nothing short of heroic. From setting up welcome centers, organizing housing, healthcare, and transportation, New York City agencies and their community partners have done great work in the face of overwhelming need. New Yorkers, as always, have responded to this crisis by pulling together as one.